Hello, and welcome to your virtual field trip. My name is Deb, and I'm a teacher working at School Mental Health Ontario. We've partnered with our friends at OFIA to offer these virtual field trip videos on stress management and coping. This is the sixth and final video in the series. We've learned about the strategies of breathing, muscle relaxation, visualization, distraction, and thought changing. Today, we are learning about gratitude as a possible strategy to help us cope with stress. Being grateful and being thankful are two words that are often used in the same way. Although these words are very similar, they aren't exactly the same. The word gratitude is defined in the dictionary as showing an appreciation of kindness. This is where the difference lies between being thankful and being grateful. Thankful is a feeling and being grateful is an action. Gratitude is when we express our appreciation and thanks for the good things in our lives. We can be thankful for things we receive, the people who surround us, and the fun things we get to experience and do. Gratitude is a way of thinking, one that we can practice, develop, and cultivate. It can also help us regulate our emotions and possibly bring us more positivity and joy in our lives. In this video, you'll learn why gratitude is a useful tool to help us cope with stress. You'll learn how we can practice gratitude. And you'll also hear examples of gratitude from students your age. Remember, each of us is unique and strategies that work for some might not work for others. And that's okay. It's our hope throughout this video series that you'll find something that works for you. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Tracy Groves. I'm a social worker with School Mental Health Ontario. Practicing gratitude, both towards ourselves and towards others, can help enhance our well being. Noticing and sharing gratitude can support healthy relationships and the development of healthy coping strategies. While there are events and situations in our lives that may be challenging, practicing gratitude can help us ground and support us in managing feelings of stress. I'd like to share with you a few reasons why gratitude is helpful. Gratitude can support healthy relationships. When you say thank you and appreciate other people and what they do for us, it can strengthen our relationships. It can lead to greater feelings of connection and more satisfaction with friends, school, community, and even yourself. Gratitude can multiply. When we notice and share gratitude, we feel good, which promotes feelings of happiness. When we feel happy, we're more likely to look at situations in a more helpful and positive way. Gratitude can give you space from unhelpful feelings and put you in a better mindset to cope with stress or overwhelming emotions. Gratitude can be contagious. When you feel grateful for someone's kindness towards us, we are more likely to do an act of kindness in return. Also, when we show people that we're grateful, it is more likely they'll do another act of kindness. All these acts of kindness and expressions of gratitude lead to a ripple effect that ends up impacting many people. When we view the world and relationships through a lens of gratitude, it can help us notice and appreciate the positives in life, even when facing a challenge Noticing and sharing gratitude can support healthier relationships. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well during this time. My name is Huda and I'm a social worker at School Mental Health Ontario. So, we understand what gratitude is and why it helps us cope with stress. Now, how can we practice it? Here are four steps you can follow. Notice, reflect, feel, and do. Noticing. Pause and become aware of a person, place, or thing that you want to appreciate. Did you receive an act of kindness? Are you noticing something simple in your life that brings you joy? Reflecting. Think about why you received this act of kindness or what you appreciate about whatever it is that you're grateful for. 
What are some reasons you are thankful for this person or thing? Feeling. What emotions are you feeling? When you think about the special person or special thing that you are grateful for, how do you feel? Happy, excited, calm, or proud? Doing. This is the action that you take to express your appreciation. What can you do to express your gratitude for this person, place, or thing? Now, let's have a look at what gratitude looks like in action. Hi, my name is Andrea and I am an educator. I am also an OFIA ambassador. I'd like to share with you how I practice showing gratitude while I participate in some activities, some of which are challenging. They do, however, give me an opportunity to practice gratitude. This also helps me notice and appreciate the positives in life. There are many challenges that we encounter. Thinking positively is a way to practice gratitude and can help us navigate life's challenges. So take a moment. What does thinking positively mean to you? Keep in mind the words notice, reflect, feel, and do. Notice what makes you feel content. Reflect back and look how far you've come. Just think about the value of practice making mistakes, and the whole learning process. Take the long view. Pay attention to how you are feeling and what has changed. Don't give up now. Do you see how your feelings change when you keep trying and persevere? Is there something you can say to yourself? Is there something you want to share with someone? We asked Ontario students your age about gratitude Here's what they had to say. I'm grateful that I have my own room. I like having my own space and being by myself sometimes. I show my gratitude by trying to keep it clean. Many students expressed gratitude for their pets and shared photos of them. They said the pets brought them joy, helped them get outdoors more, and comforted them. They show their gratitude in several ways by looking after their pets, playing with them, snuggling them, and more. I'm grateful for good internet because without it I wouldn't have any entertainment. It also allows me to do remote learning easily and it helps me stay in touch with friends and family. I am grateful for being born in this country. I have a roof over my head, I am fed, and I have access to clean water. Let's take a moment to think about someone or something to be grateful for. Pause and become aware of a person, including yourself, a place or thing that you want to appreciate. What can you do to express your gratitude for this person, place or thing? Educators, Please refer to the virtual field trip lesson plan for activities to help consolidate this learning. We also encourage you to revisit the Student Mental Health Action Kit for further supports and resources. Thank you for joining OFIA and School Mental Health Ontario on this virtual field trip. We hope you find these strategies helpful. Educators, don't forget to stay connected by following OFIA on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at OFIA Canada. Also, follow School Mental Health Ontario at SMHO underscore SMSO on Twitter and follow our youth account on Instagram at ThriveSMH.